Des Moines Public School students marching for their right to play after the state announced they cannot play fall or winter sports if they're not learning in person at school. Local 5 Chief Political Correspondent Rachel Droz was at the march and Rachel, these students have more than just high school sports season in jeopardy. Jack, that's right. I spoke with one high school senior who is depending on this sports season to solidify college scholarships. And a couple of football coaches I spoke to tell me that student situation isn't unique. Zeldon Farag, a Roosevelt senior, plays football, basketball, and runs track. He says playing sports is his ticket out of Des Moines. For me, like most, like most minorities are from DMPS, most of us use sports to get out or like make it or get to college or pay for our college. Without a season, Farag doesn't know if he'll have enough film to get a scholarship. I'm trying to go to a four-year college, full ride, and try to get a degree in some type of engineering. Athletes from seemingly all sports were out today. Volleyball players, baseball players, swimmers. Students, your voices will be heard today! all letting the governor know she's not just hurting their sports season. I plan to swim in college, hopefully Division One. so it's really important. This year is really important. Roosevelt swimmer Lydia Johnston says in the middle of the pandemic, athletics are an escape. We've lost a lot, so please just let us have this one thing. Coaches also marching to show their support. There's a lot of these kids that, um, you know, athletics and activities are the are the gateway and the bridge to the next part of their, their higher education. And so getting the opportunity not to do that, you're taking away more opportunities from these kids. And I don't think it's right to definitely you know, use them as political pawns like they're doing right now. The group numbering in the hundreds started at Roosevelt High and marched to Terrace Hill. But when they arrived, the governor didn't come out to meet them. But if she was home, there's no way she didn't hear their message. Play, let us play. Now, Local 5 did reach out to the governor's office for comment about this march today, but didn't hear back. DMPS did sue the state for prohibiting these extracurriculars. The governor's office commented on that, saying in a statement two weeks ago, Reynolds is disappointed the district took legal action instead of developing a return to learn plan that fits within those state guidelines. Reporting live in Des Moines, Rachel Joes, Local 5 News. We are Iowa. All right, Rachel, thanks a lot. 545 new coronavirus cases and two more Iowans have passed away in the past 24 hours. Let's dig more into some of those COVID-19 data in Iowa tonight. These are the positivity rates in Johnson, Story and Polk counties. That's where Des Moines, Ames and Iowa City students will be starting school tomorrow virtually. The bar in blue, that's Johnson County and orange is Story. Some of the rates in the past month have been above 35%. Let's look at the seven day moving average in Polk County. Its peak was in late August, but over the last week or so, the positivity rates have been going down, and that is good news. Two of Iowa's neighboring states, Illinois and Missouri, allow student athletes to compete no matter what the mode of learning is for the school district, and that is different from what Iowa's Department of Education is allowing tonight. The Illinois High School Association allows schools that are learning remote to still participate in sports. It's up to each school district what they want to do. Same goes for Missouri. The Athletic Association there says, quote, the style of education will not impact the school's ability to practice or compete during the 2021 school year.